Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Josh's Alcon Snack Reviews. Hope you're having a good day. Um, so today we are trying another snack to try. Um, lately we've been doing a mix of everything to be honest. Um, so we tried Kruger Chili Build Song yesterday. That was absolutely stunning. So if you haven't seen it, go and um, check my channel below and watch it. It was only done by yesterday. Before that we've done the um, Charlie and Onion Pipers, which was, I wouldn't say disappointment, but you know it's not a surprise since i'm not a massive treading on your fan but it's what it is really um so yeah to be honest lately my videos have been a bit weird because i don't know about the endings but my phone's been uh, it's been annoying me at the moment with my my icloud storage i've been got a lot of storage on my phone so i've deleted some stuff so if it cuts halfway through or whatever then you know you know what's up if i don't do an ending like say to subscribe or whatever but um i'm gonna do it quick and snappy with detail and then I'll sort my phone out and stuff like that. And yeah, hopefully you'll be all right then. But um, yeah, so today we have got um, Tyrell's Lentil Crisps. Now, these, these have already been opened because what basically happened was I actually done a video, but it stopped halfway through. So I done everything. I opened it and everything, and then it has stopped halfway through. But it just really irritated me a bit, to be honest. But um, yeah, whatever, I guess. So... These are very interesting. Uh, so Tyrell's Lentil Crisp, Sweet Chili and Red Pepper. So it's 30% less fat. Got loads of stuff on the back. Ma magnificent lentils. Our lentil crisps are made with deliciously uh, wholesome lentils and no artificial ingredients. Our signature flavour and exquisite crunchy crisp with the perfect amount of your splendid seasoning to take your taste buds. Deliciously light, carefully crafted to contain 30% less fat than standard potato crisps on average. Sweet chili and red pepper, a subtly bracing coalition of sweet chili and red pepper, making them terribly, terribly tasty. So that's just like a, their motto. Another motto that I find quite hilarious is the Carsberg one, the best log in the world. You know, not saying I don't like Carsberg, I do, but it can be a bit delusional, if you know what I mean, from companies. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what one looks like. Um, so in terms of the aroma of these crisps, I'm getting a pepper, but I'm getting more of the lentils. Quite savoury, you know. The lentils are in and the herbs. Mmm. Oh, my mass boring. So these are 80 grams. Uh, yeah, so lentil flour, sunflower oil, maize flour, rice flour. So much flour in this stuff. Um, so, yeah, so I'm, I like spicy stuff. I honestly don't mind it, you know. I'm not... I do like spicy food, so I'm not really... I'm not going to react like, oh, this is hot, I never are. But, um, yeah, let's give it a taste. Hmm. Interesting. I'm tasting lentils. Savoury lentils in the chilli. Hmm. Dude, they're really nice guys. Hmm. These are way better than the treading onion ones, depending on what your taste buds are like. But mmm. They're really good. Very addictive, actually. Wow, they're good. Full of flavour, you know. You can taste a bit of that chili in the back end of the throat, that's for sure. Um, wow, they're really good. Well, I'm going to have some more. They're very good. You can tell with my... Um, Pipers, cherry and onions. I didn't have a lot. I wasn't constantly eating them. You know, you could tell by my body language and that. You know what I mean? So. So in terms of lager, well, that's to say any alcohol. Again, I'm going to have to go with lager. That goes well with these crisps because lager basically is about every, with everything with crisps. So definitely go for lager for that shout. Um, probably some other ones you could try. 
maybe Guinness. Guinness is light lager a bit, but a bit different. So I think it would go out of um Tyrols, but Tyrols and Pipers are very popular UK um you know crisp brands. So you know I just recommend drawing them out because they're so good, especially these flavour. You know, I'm not a massive fan of the born ready salt or the the, you know, I'm not so keen on the, the choosing onion and the tangy salt and vinegar. You know, trying these different, trying a nice flavour, sweet chili and red pepper. That's too good to say no. You know, not even that spicy at all. Even if they were, if these were spicy, they'd be even better. So the one the thing I would say about these, make them spicier. But um, that's a good compliment. Yeah, so lager would go well in them. Probably other alcohols like Guinness, you know, maybe wine, maybe. Imagine red wine being nice of that. I don't know, but um, rosé, even white wine. Yeah, so. <clears throat> so let's give it a rating for these Tyrol sweet chili crisps. You know, very flavour. Say if it was cherry and onion, there'd be a good person on there like cutting the cheese or whatever, but because these is sweet chili and red pepper, they got a woman with a pepper there. I don't know why that pepper's so big. Look a gigantic one. Must be a fiction. They're really good. So the race I'm gonna give these Tyrol to little sweet chili and red pepper crisps. I'm gonna give them a solid ten out of ten from here. So that's my first ten out of ten item on this channel. You know, as I said, I am critical. I am honest. You know, I gave a brief description on that when I done my um, you know, that Chinese onion crisp review I done to say because that was the worst one I'd done. But yeah, honestly, ten out of ten from here. They're so good. Um, yeah, what else did I say? Just buy some Tyrols, especially these favour, but Tyrols are nice as well, as well as Pipers, you know. I've had Tyrols for years, but these are by far the best flavour.